when you can win, it's also not just physically, you mentally the best start, can you? And I think it was my best decision. Many emotions is coming also because you're working really hard for many times and uh, you try your best and uh, stretch your limit. Hello, I'm Axel and this time I'm with the Olympic pioneer Virag Bella. And how do you feel being Olympian in a very new sport? And uh, tell me, how do you feel about uh, the Olympic journey as well? Hello, uh, I feel great. I'm really happy because that was my biggest dream. Uh, when I start uh, sport, uh, I do kayak first, but uh, 10 years ago, the women can is coming. So I start canoe and i think it was my best decision when did you start well, you, you said already you started with kayak so what were your first steps do you remember maybe your first workout how was it like were you scared of water sometimes some people are scared of the water and then they are uh, you know afraid maybe to, to go to the practice or their parents don't want to go how was it for you were you maybe the opposite end of the spectrum you were eager to get to the practices how were the first you know, beginnings of, of your career? I started in 2004, I think, uh, but only with the gym training because it was a winter session. And so I told my parents, I do kayak in the gym and they laughing on me. But uh, in the spring, we went to the water. Uh, we start with, uh, in a big boat, many people. So I wasn't scared. And uh, I think middle of the summer, we start uh, paddling the mini kayak. So it was fun when you fall into the water. So we really loved, we really loved it. So it was fun. Did you begin in those dragon boats, what they call, or, or something like that? Yeah, I like dragon boat, but it was uh, more uh, white. When you were in kayaking, right? Did you already, like in those beginning stages, did you have any aspirations to get to the Olympics or, or did you saw like a path? How could you get to the Olympics? Yeah, when I started kayak, uh, my coach told me I can do Olympic Games, so I believed him. Uh, I was only 10 years old, but, but it was a big dream. And I saw many uh, great athletes uh, at my club so I thought, why not? I should try it. Hungary is like one of the leading countries in the, in the sport of uh, canoe and uh, kayak. Tell me, like, how is the competition in there? And knowing that it's very competitive already there from, from, from the beginnings, how was it for you? Like, okay, if I'm one of the best in my country, it probably will be tough to get to the top there and, and then to the Olympics at such a high level. So how is it inside Hungary? How it's how is the how, how is the battle to the top there there is many great athletes so it was a big fight uh, and every year I uh, make a little step so um, it takes many times I think more than five years to get uh, to the top athletes uh, but it was a great journey for me tell me about the decision to go from kayak to kind of like what was the decision and how were the first years? Because like I, I heard some people like that have made a switch. Maybe it takes to feel comfortable one or even two years for them. And it's the hardest part. Maybe it's sometimes to just get the right knee for them, <laughs> right? So how was it for you? Yeah, I had a shoulder injury. Uh, so I stopped do kayak. I tried canoe. Uh, it was really hard because my knee always hurt, but I know uh, maybe the first year will be um, painful, but after that it will be better. And we do, uh, I think, more than 40 kilometers uh, every week. And uh, yeah, the steering was also really hard, not just the kneeling. I think that was the hardest part to learn steering. Right. How was it for you? To easy to switch, like on the right knee or, or left knee? Like, were you dabbling around in the beginnings or not? I don't remember. Uh, I'm 
I choose which side, but I think uh, Kincha already do canoe and she do in the right side. And I thought, okay, I should do left side if I want to go with her in the C2. Right. Right. Uh, well, tell me, like, how does it feel to be in the race for you? What's the race strategy for you? How do you prepare for the race and how do you like approach the race? Like, you know, your race strategy and let's say the race day itself, like how do you prepare and the race itself? Usually we have a race in uh, lunchtime. So I start the date around eight o'clock in a.m. and eat my breakfast and uh, we always get to the racing course two and a half hour before the race and uh, i like it because uh, you mentally focus also to the race not just physically and uh, you know we do a long um, uh, warm-up uh, in the boat and uh, in the racing course also we do uh, gym before the race uh, in the tragedy what we do in the boat I can't tell you because it's a secret so yeah we try the best always maybe if, if that, that's not a secret tell me are you a morning person or are you like more so an evening person how is your training schedule like that are, are you able to adapt like maybe for the travel and how are you like adapting for for uh, you know things like you know, traveling and, and training in different places and things like that i like to travel but i always sleeping during the traveling and uh I'm not a morning person. I like to sleep as much as I can. Uh, my pair, Kincha Takach, always want to wake me up because she thinks it's not good because I'm oversleep. But yeah, this is me. <laughs> can you remember your first victory? In 2016, we won the World Champ in uh, under 23. And uh, that was my... Uh, best memory uh, because that was the first first uh, world champs for me how does it feel for you to cross the line and be a winner like what's the feeling like can you describe it not really you are so happy but uh, many emotions is coming also because you're working really hard for many times and uh, you try your best and uh, stretch your limits and when you can win it's also not just physically you mentally the best in the racing course is that feeling something that you strive for and want to achieve just just knowing how it feels because it's so even hard to describe do you want to achieve that again and again and again is that something like that yeah yes yes always for you what, what do, does it mean the olympics right like uh, for many people it means different things what does it mean for you this is my biggest dream to be there, to racing there. Uh, and also, uh, I cannot describe, but I think uh, if I really be there, uh, I will be really happy to to racing there and uh, make a history because Women Canoe will be the first time there. Let me ask you this. Uh, what do you think is more important, uh, paddle or boat? <laughs> Because the most important part is, I would say, uh, the uh, athlete itself. But out of those two things, there can be variables. What do you think is the most important thing? It's a hard question. I think it depends on the athletes. But I really like my boat. It's a, it's a really good type. And uh, yeah, when the boat is uh, great, I think you feel more comfortable in the racing make a podium in the olympic games right. uh, i'd like to do in uh, c2 500 meters with my pair i hope i can race also in uh, paris and uh, after that uh, i'm not really thinking i hope these two olympic uh, games will be really good for me and uh, i can uh, work like normal people oh uh, well i say thank you to, to your uh, uh 
time and, and thank you for the interview and uh, I wish you all the best in the Olympics. Thank you for watching this interview till the end. I suggest you watch more interviews on my channel that are popping right now on the screen. I hope you will be inspired from the other interviews that I have on the channel as well. And I wish you all the best. Become the best you can be. Strive to the greatness.